The first thing we're going to start off with is what's called a penetration step. This is a super important drill for any level of wrestling that you go to. Um, I still did a penetration step all the way through my career, even up till recently. You know, every, every time I was training for any sort of tournament, I always would warm up with this exact drill. So a good penetration step. I'm just going to start on my knees like this, and I'm going to step one knee up. I'm going to make sure I step my front foot out. I reach with my, my two hands coming out like this, and then I drag my back foot behind me, and then I step my back foot up like this. My elbows are down and they're going to point towards the ground. I don't want to ever shoot like this. See how I, I extend off of my back foot? My knee drags on the ground, then my bottom leg steps up. If I'm facing this way, again, step out. My head is up, my chest is up. I'm not down here, my arms aren't flailing down by my side. I'm in really good position here, right? This is a very solid position, reaching through, stepping up this leg in front, then do the opposite leg. I usually warm up by doing this, you know, two to three times going up and down the wrestling room just to make sure I'm getting the right technique, right? I want this to be perfect every single time that I do this. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I'm in a good stance. My knees are bent. Again, my chest is over the top of my forward leg. My hands are out in front, elbows in, and I'm ready to step off of my power leg, which is my back foot. We worked on our timing drill so we know when to go now, right? A good time is when a guy reaches. There's a lot of other setups that you can research and work on as well. This is how it's going to look. I'm going to change my level. I'm going to push off my back foot. I'm going to step in the middle and drive through right here. This is the position that I want to be in right here. My hands are behind your knees. My head is up. My hips are in. They're not here. I'm not sitting back on my butt here. And my head is across. When I finish this move, ideally, I'm going to drive off of this foot and I'm going to come up and sweep her legs out here and get my finish. The next one is penetration step from your feet, simulating a full shot coming back up. Right, so without any partner at all, this is one of the most popular drills in wrestling. Right, I want to get a good stance. A lot of the time I can do stance and motion drills then simulate my shot here, right? I can even do it with a lot of speed once I get comfortable. All right, this is still one of my very favorite drills to do. I do this all the time. Just to slow it down a little bit, level change, step, step back up here. As you get better, guys work on defense a whole lot more and they're gonna have a reaction to your shot. So she's in a good sprawl right here, right? I got a good shot. Whether I have a double leg or a high crotch, this is a very common position that I may get into. You know, she's gonna be trying to get an angle, which means she's gonna go this way and stretch me out here, which is not good. As she circles, I need to try to stay in front of her. Sometimes that just means pivoting until I can do a knee slide. I want to make sure my hands are locked around this leg. I'm, ex I'm extended here, but I still have this power leg. Hands are locked. I'm going to step up my back leg, and I'm going to slide my knee right in between her knees right here. Once I get there, my hips are back up. My head is looking across. I'm going to go elbow deep here, right? Elbow deep. Other hand comes here, and I'm right back in good position where I can finish. If you have a broomstick at your house, this is going to simulate this guy's sprawl. Okay, it's going to help me stay in good position, and this is going to be one leg of the drill. I'm going to start down here. I'm going to take 
my back hand, put it on top of my front hand here, and I'm just gonna stay stretched out right here. This is gonna simulate me being in a position that I don't wanna be in, right? I wanna start in really bad position. Okay, take this pull, put it out at an angle. Again, I wanna feel like this guy's getting out around behind me. Mentally visualize this guy sprawling, trying to get an angle, right? He's off to the side here. First thing I can do, focus on pivoting, right? This is making me hold good position. Again, I want to stay in front of that person, and that's the first thing I want to do. Get comfortable just doing this. Once I get comfortable doing that, I want to put a little bit of pressure on this. Bigger guys, make sure this thing can hold your weight a little bit. What I want to do is the same exact thing as we showed before. I'm going to step up my foot right here, and I'm going to knee slide right to this opposite side right here, right? Again, this is this guy's outside leg if I have a high crotch, so I want to push off my back foot and I want to knee slide right over to the side right here, get my head up and visualize myself coming up in a good position here. A lot of this is mental, right? You're not wrestling a broomstick, you're visualizing the moves that you want to do and you're holding good positioning. Again, I'm here, stretched out, head up, push off my back foot, knee slide up, in a good position here. Stretched out here, knee slide into good position, Finish your shot. Keep your head high and tight. I can even look across this thing. Right here, right? Step up, knee slide in the middle, drive up into my shot. 